Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another indie comic review, but the only thing different about this indie comic review is this is actually um, from some freebies that I got from my local comic store, uh, through my comic hauls which were sent to me in the mail, and this is one that grabbed my interest, which I wanted to read and review, and who knows, it might lead, might have led to the decision of maybe getting the trade paper back for it. But let's see how we go, review-wise. So starting off with first things first, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that happens inside of the story? Sure enough it does. But is it that strong enough that it works with the story? Not, not really. To which I gave the cover a 6.5 out of 10. I'll now move into the internal arts, which I'll show you some art around the beginning, middle and the end. And then I'll move on to the rating of the story. Now this is some of the art around the beginning. Of course, there's the introduction to some of the characters in the series. But do you get to see them more dressed in the story? We'll get to that later. So this is some of the art around the beginning. And I'll now turn the page over. I'll now move to the middle. And last but not least, towards the end. And this is some of the art towards the end. Now this story is done by Brandon Easton. And for this I gave the internal art 7 out of 10 as I really enjoyed it. Now, moving into the story, let's see how it goes in the area of things that I personally enjoyed. Or, well, personally, I enjoy in seeing in stories. So, first things first, did we get any comic references? We did, and considering how far this issue is in the series, we got a comics issue reference to... The Mask Revolution story arc, issue 5. Um, moving into the locations, we got the Mask HQ in Florida. And we also got the Miles Mayhem base, wherever that was. Now, this bit in the area of time, I don't like how they do some of these times. And they really need to improve this. And I, I must admit, I've seen this in a number of comic stories. Where it needs to be fixed up. And not just IDW. Um, Marvel, DC. And other, some indie comics as well. Not just these. Uh, for the time it went... Then, now, then, now, never giving any complete accuracy as to when it took place, such as if it was three months ago, two months ago, uh, the present, and not pointing out when the present is. That is something that really needs to be fixed up. As for the cast of characters, as you saw at the beginning there, there was a list that showed the cast of characters, but not all the cast of character. Ca um. <coughs> but not all the cast of characters that were seen there were addressed by their name. Um, about the only ones we did get to see addressed by their name uh, was Bruno, uh, Julio, Matt, and 
someone else. Oh, yes. Um, the creation of Venom in this. And that's about all. For that, I gave the story a 3 out of 10, as it felt like it was really lacking a lot. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.